I have some good news for you. The Stream on SharePoint web part is now available. Now that we have the Stream on SharePoint web part, the question is, is it worth using? We're gonna look at how to set up the Stream on SharePoint web part, and I'm gonna show you some things to consider along the way. By the end of the video, you will have information that you need to decide what works best for your business process. So let's jump right in. I have navigated to a SharePoint page where I want to add some videos. If you are a site owner, you will see the edit button in the upper right hand corner. Now I can scroll down to the section where I want to add my videos and click the plus sign to search for the web part I want, which in this case is the stream on SharePoint one. By default, this is going to show you every video that is on your SharePoint site. But in this example, I only want stream videos on the stream SharePoint page. So I can update the defaults by clicking on the pencil icon above the web part, and this will open up a pane on the right hand side of the screen. Here you will see a few simplified choices to customize your content. The default is videos on this site, but if I click the drop down, you will see options for folder or single video. The way my SharePoint site is organized is all of my videos are in folders by topics. So when I click on folder, we can go to the video library and then here you can see the different choices that I have available. So I can click on stream and click select. And now you see I have just the three videos that are related to the stream topics. By default, the layout is set to theater, which places the first video in a large frame and the remaining videos are in a thumbnail size frame. You can switch this to grid view to make it more compact and every video is the same size. Let's look at the remaining options. By default, you can have six videos on your SharePoint page, but this can be increased to 30. You can show up to two rows of videos by default, but that can be increased to 10. This limitation is something to keep in mind, especially because other web parts allow over 100 videos. Then you have three options to sort your videos, and these are all your choices. They are very simplified and do not give you a lot of flexibility. Whether or not that is an issue depends on how you organize your content. Now that the video is published, you can see the two videos from the selected stream folder. If you choose one video, it will pop up from the screen providing a larger frame to view the video. The stream on SharePoint web part is okay if you have a simple organization structure. The significant concern for me with the stream on SharePoint web part is that if you want to curate your videos on multiple different pages, this web part is not gonna do that for you unless you have the videos in multiple folders. Now there's a couple of problems with that. One, that's gonna take up extra storage on your SharePoint site because you have the videos copied and pasted into several places. And two, every time you update a video topic, you're going to have to remember to update that video in every single folder. This quickly becomes a continuity nightmare. In my opinion, the highlighted content web part is better. To see how I use it for my content, check out this video.